Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are back with more card survival tropical island This is episode number 11 well into the series here and I appreciate everybody tuning in so far It's been a lot of fun. I've had some great commenters out there helping me and stuff So I appreciate all you guys and in fact at this point we're kind of in trouble right now It's been made aware to me that I've eaten a little bit too much coconut no doubt about it. of course we we've been going through a dry spell so we haven't had much in the way of water now a couple people have mentioned that in the wetlands where are we currently we're uh yeah we're in the jungle so when i was in the wetlands a couple of times i used the puddles to wash myself to cool down and that was definitely a mistake i should have at least brought like a couple coconuts with salt water in them instead of using my potential drinking water because obviously the mud puddles aren't safe to drink themselves but we could have boiled them and who knows <laughs> if we had we would, might not be in the middle of some severe diarrhea right now so we are going to take care of that by eating some charcoal there we go munch on that sir that knocked it down a tad um okay so we'll need probably need a little bit more of that down the road but i don't want them to start vomiting from eating too much charcoal so not a big deal we're good to go and i probably should avoid eating any more coconuts here so we'll we'll just hold off <laughs> i've got seven perforated ones yeah that was probably too much too much coconut but i did get a tip about the banana trees so let's collect a bit of these actually we want to collect them all okay then we want to cut that down it's funny just how content he is with life despite being pretty bad in his tum tum region um so we got a lot of banana now uh probably more than we're going to be able to feed him in other words he's going to get sick of the banana before you know we run up but that's not the point the point is to place the water container inside the banana tree stump and then it will slowly fill up oh yes 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 so thank you for that a very helpful comment and of course that might in fact save our lives now i had complained too hold on let's let's go to the wetlands but i just want to see make sure i don't, yeah take stock of what we got okay we got a little bird meat in there just gonna drop these bananas get them out of my there we go some of those will probably end up just rotting away but like i said if we feed them all of those you end up puking i imagine but um i certainly would have ate that many bananas all right so we're looking pretty good we got a little seaweed here i'll just put that in my bag too no reason to force ourselves wait is this at half a percent is that the durability on it? Better, sh maybe I should eat it. Yeah, I think it was, literally, because one of them went rotten. Interesting. All right, so we're definitely full. Very hot. Not feeling great in the Tum Tum region. But I had complained about not having clay to continue our production of the reservoir. There it is. Because we need a lot more bricks for this. But it was brought to my attention that I could dig up dirt from the puddles and then use salt water to actually turn it into clay so great idea oh what does it say seriously dehydrated damn it all right well we had to come here to check the cave anyway so we shall enter the cave there's a little bit of water in here did i not put this there's no coconuts are there damn it oh that was a big one Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, another person pointed out that we do have a full canteen, so we better drink that. That's good, and that is helpful, but it's not much. I mean, boom, the canteen is literally empty now. So, we will refill it with some of this. Did just save my life, though. Alright, we got 19% there. Let's head back out. That brought us up to a little less than halfway. Okay, I'm really praying that we do get some rain soon. Otherwise, we might be screwed. Yeah, okay, I'm just checking to see. There is some... Yeah, we could get dirt here. Is that the, really the smartest thing to do with our time right now? I honestly don't think it's a terrible idea. 
but the question is do i just leave it here and then i, I need to lug the salt water here it's probably the best bet oh no i have a, I have a smarter deal we'll dig up a little bit okay we're very thirsty let's do it again okay beautiful get out of here bugs should have brought the travoy with me but that's okay six piles of dirt we can handle that let's go ahead and take the long sticks with us too all right, and that might weigh us down a little bit. 30 minutes. Right now is not the time to be lugging stuff back and forth. We'll wait. I don't need the sticks. I just kind of wanted to consolidate everything in one area, but we need to preserve our time here. So we'll leave the dirt here since this is essentially where I want the bricks at. You know, we're building a reservoir here. So let's check this real quick. 4%. That's slow going, but... Yeah, another thing we can do is explore the jungle more, find more banana trees, and do the same thing. God, I wish I had made more pots, but our vases, vases. We do have the clay bowl, and where is that little guy? Little clay jar. This thing only essentially holds, I think, as much as a coconut shell, but I'll grab a few of these. Let's leave the unsafe water... I think so, just because we're going to try boiling that up. Well, we're definitely going to boil that up when we get back here. Because we're going to be real thirsty. Okay, so yeah, we're essentially going there for a little bit of salt water. Thinking here. Should I boil this first, the water? nervous i'm nervous because if we start that heart beating when that happens it makes me nervous <laughs> all right let's do the water real quick here i can always just hang out now i think we'll probably need to pour it into this right let's do it in the clay bowl oh wow that's not very much but oh well okay we're gonna grab first of all put our gourd bottle back on it is empty though of course but rather have it on my person than carrying it in my hands there we go toss that on there uh what oh i want to put it in my backpack duh now here we go 21 minutes okay that is easy we can kill a little bit of time here hmm. I do wish I had some salt water, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and see if we have any cordage. Or I should say fiber. Doesn't look like it. So we'll just extract. A couple of times. Up oh, there's the water. Man, it's just barely a mouthful, isn't it? Take it out. Now the good news is, if we extinguish... Ah, oh, darn it. No more charcoal. I think we need a little bit more wood in that fire to start producing charcoal, but... Anyway, let's definitely take this with us. It should cool down by the time we get to the beach. All right, let's go. I'm hoping there's some charcoal in the fireplace there. We'll see. Heading to the bay. I always call it the beach. It's the bay. Those are two different places. So our trap was triggered. Okay, the water is now dry. Let's go ahead and eat the charcoal. That's... I think we're good. Now, I don't need to eat any more charcoal. Let's drink. <gasps> Delicious. Okay. Didn't really help much, but I mean, it's literally better than nothing. So we had six things of dirt back home. And now we have six little coconut shells of salt water. I'm going to grab some extra salt water. This will be for rinsing ourselves off, cooling off and stuff. And we'll go ahead and just do that right now in the ocean. Beautiful. We'll grab the ashes. Let's see. We're content. Food is not really an issue right now. As you saw, I got a backpack full of meat and bananas. So I think that's it. Yeah, not much reason to spend too much time here at the moment. Oh, lemongrass was a suggestion too, that I eat that to kind of settle my stomach. I think we're good at this point though. Yeah, he's he's come back from the cusp of pure that's a heck of a way to go to from diarrhea yikes 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 yeah that um gourd bottle did save our butts definitely i'm glad that was re reminded to me if i had died of dehydration with a literal bottle of water on my person 
That would have been the worst. But uh, anyway, let's not dwell on the past. We shall return to the jungle. God, still no rain. He freaking believe it. So, let's see. That's a 13%. Man, I'm going to tell you what. Put that on the travoy. I am almost tempted to just explore the jungle more. Looking for banana trees. Because this water will probably last a little while. I mean, it's going to evaporate some, but... Oh, that only takes three minutes. Well, that's not bad. Okay. <clears throat> Just go ahead and drop these for now. I, I think the monkeys do really like those little... What's it called? That little uh, jar. So I gotta watch it. But if a monkey comes, we will definitely attack it with our rustic spear. So let's just explore a little bit. Puffballs are good to eat. It's an edible mushroom. It's pretty filling too, from my recollection. But it's also got a recipe associated with it. So I might save those. Alright, we're getting... To, oh, oh, let's check this. 15%. Definitely gonna be drinking that soon. Let's see, maybe just making some mud will kind of, yeah, it relieves our tiredness a little bit. All right, it's four o'clock. Let me check on my shelter. Yeah, it's not in bad shape. 68, 69%. We're fine. All right, we're going to continue with our salt water here. Okay. Very thirsty. I know, buddy. I know. We're just, he's sitting here desperately just watching this tree stump trickle in the smallest amount of liquid you've ever seen uh all right we should probably explore a little bit more <gasps> wild yams now as i recall you need a shovel to extract these right so let's dig up tubers but i think if you have a shovel you can make it go quicker i might be mistaken though but we don't have a shovel oh uh, let's see here so we're gonna continue to mix water and dirt just like we're a little kid making mud pies right now <laughs> oh i was very thirsty where's this do the wait do the puff balls give us like hydration probably not probably not guess no let's see 17 <gasps> percent is that going to be enough to get us through the night so we don't dehydrate in our sleep pass away at any moment, it could start raining, too, but I think this is actually not really helping me with rest, so let's just chill for a second. Feeling a bit peckish. Okay, let's pry open the old backpack. The bird meat's at 82%, so we'll leave that. We'll have some bananas. Fill it up. Can't eat, or if you can't have anything to drink, then at least you're gonna stuff your belly full of bananas, right? All right, so dirt piles all day. There we go. Now, of course, we need to turn these into bricks, which we would do like this. Um, hmm. let's check this out. Nineteen percent might actually get us through the night because it's only five o'clock. Hmm. Yeah, I say we go ahead and just explore the jungle a little bit more looking for more trees damn it okay not bad not bad yep we are getting the notification here it, it dehydrated okay let's drink it okay decent decent put it right back in there oh yeah you better believe it I was trying to hope, kind of wait until we, right before bed, but uh, maybe we'll sip on it again before nightfall. Let's go ahead and continue here with our little exploration. We're not tired. We got daylight left. Kava plants. I mean, we found four kava plants. That's pretty amazing. I'm glad for that. If it ever rains again, we'll be in good shape. Uh, let's see here. Any moment now, that water... That could just start falling from the sky. Oh, it's a piglet. Now, I'm not worried about the pigs. They don't steal anything as far as I know. And they can offer they can inflict some serious wounds or injuries if you're not careful. So we'll avoid him. Let's see here. 
Are we going to need a fire tonight? Probably not. I mean, temperature-wise, it seems pretty good. I haven't had to use my little salt water bath that we brought with us here. I'm going to put that in my pocket so the monkeys don't come and steal it. All right, screw it. Let's just make some bricks here. Because that's the thing. If it does start to rain, I mean, it'll save my life, obviously, but... We really want to get this reservoir up as soon as possible. Okay. One more. Oh, no. I thought it was 10. Damn it, it's 12. But we've still got two more stages anyway, so we're not even close yet. Um, yeah, didn't I put ashes in the Travoy? Yeah, I did. Let's pull those back out, actually. Okay. Hot. Let's look at our banana stump. 4%. Oh, God. Uh, we can probably explore a little bit more. Oh, there's the western grasslands. Oh, I love those. This is kind of where I want to build my base. Either here at the highlands. I've never built a base there. And it's probably like more work than I was really necessary. You know? You can certainly live in the jungle and be fine. But, um, I don't know. I just want to wake up on the grasslands, you know? Right, well, maybe we'll try it. We'll see, we'll see. Either way, we still got to get this water reservoir, you know. And having one of these here in the jungle is not a bad idea. Even if I do eventually move to the grasslands, obviously it's only one card away, so it's not that far. We could go right now, but it's getting late. No, we'll go some other time. Oh, man, I don't know. On second thought, now I kind of want to go. Screw it, we're going. Just to be there. Oh, it's so quiet and peaceful here. You don't hear all the bugs and the noise. We don't know anything here at this place. We could explore. It's pretty late. I mean, coming here was a stupid waste, but I don't know. I just felt the urge to do it. Maybe we'll get lucky, and when we walk back, it'll start to rain. Let's just test it. Nope. Didn't. Okay, damn it. I was like hoping you get uh, hit the lotto. <laughs> Not going to happen. You're just wish casting, basically. All right, so it's 7 p.m. We're tired. We're not sleepy, though. We are hot. Let's go ahead and just uh, splash a little salt water on my britches. I mean, on my face. And let's see. Let's not drink the salt water. Don't make that mistake. Make some mud pies. Making mud pies for the future. Okay. Come on, rain. I wish there was like a rain dance we could do. So, we do have two more mud piles, but I don't know if I have any filler. Well, we've got the fiber, but I ain't using that. Uh, we'll just go to the beach tomorrow, or the bay, or whatever. Okay, so, what do we do? What do we do? Let's see, do we need any food? The wild yams are tempting to dig up, but it involves a whole process of like soaking. You can't just eat them. You know, you gotta cook, soak them, boil them, but then they become very filling. And of course, I think we can use salt water to soak them, so it wouldn't be a big issue, but we won't worry about it. <gasps> oh, it's happened! It's happened, folks. Oh, empty that out. Yes, going to the western grasslands blessed us with the rain. But look at that. Oh, already. Okay, okay, well, hold on. Let's go to ye old banana tree. Give me this thing here. Yeah, I want this. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm all crazy with nerves and anxieties. I will right, put the little bowl in there because I it should we should use it, you know. But this I'm gonna drink. Oh, thank God! Nice. Oh, that's huge. You know what? We are gonna start a fire now. We're gonna start a little fire. We're gonna stay awake here for a little bit. We'll go ahead and cook our meats. I don't think you can cook bananas, but maybe we'll try it. Um. What, what just dinged? Is that the trap or something? Oh yeah, one of our deadfall traps fell, but not, it didn't catch anything. 
No biggie. All right, now we're starting to get a little sleepy, but we're I, we're still going to stay awake a little bit here. It's good to start the fire, too, because with the rain, it's going to be a little chilly. All right, so I'm going to put this away real quick. Let's throw that on there. Can you cook or... No, nah, it's just sitting there. That's no big deal. Um, hmm. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so good to drink. I actually feel refreshed in real life right now. <laughs> I'm living vicariously through my character. He's been thirsty for so long. Oh, bird meat's done. Get out of that fire, Mr. Bird. Drink it. Just drink till you're full and then do a little dance. Collect, collect, collect. Yeah, even it just seems like a little trickle, and it is, basically, but still... It fills up real quick, and even if it's just a trickle. Quick enough, at least. All right. Should we go to bed? All right, it's a little early, but we definitely don't need to eat. I just cooked it up because we got the fire now. Let's, um, let's put this away. Belongs somewhere. Oh, boy. These coconuts are going to go bad, too. See if they're, they're at 46%. If we don't crack them and remove the meat like that, but to be quite honest, I don't really care at this point, you know? It's like I'm not going to be eating much more coconut, hopefully, ever. You know, we can survive off other stuff. But the only way we'll need coconuts is if um, we want it for a recipe or something. Speaking of which, what are we researching right now? Oh, yeah, okay, we'll stick with that. But, yeah, we are in business, folks. Now, I did move... All the coconut shells here, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking two. One more thing before bed. Let's grab the gourd bottle. Let's fill it. It's going to take like all third. Oh. Uh, we'll do it this way. Yeah, that's working. Oh, this is wondrous, folks. So happy. I thought I was going to die. I almost killed myself with diarrhea. Can you believe that? Man, oh man. Okay. And we shall re-equip our life-saving gourd. What a beautiful thing it is. All right, we're, we're going to bed, folks. It's time. Let's just do a four-hour nap. I think we're fine. He's not really that tired. Or sleepy, I should say. Nice. Still raining. The water is... Yep. Our little things are full. So now is such an important time to keep working on getting this reservoir up. I don't really expect we'll finish it while it's raining now, but I'm just saying shows you the importance of having water reserves, how close we just came to dying. And I mean, there's nothing really as pressing on me at the moment. Like I'm not sick. I don't need to be harvesting anything food wise. Maybe we could do some wild yams. Yeah, we only got one card. Let's just save it. Okay, so what I really want to do is head back to the beach and get some more sand. So, let's throw that in there. Actually, we'll just eat the food, the chicken. He is a little bit hungry. All right, but I'm going to grab my torch because obviously we can't walk. Oh, we can't do two things at once. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and extinguish. Beautiful. I'm going to take that charcoal and ash out. Boom. All right, now we could use the ash right now, but, uh, well, I didn't think about that. So we're just going to walk to the base still. It's okay. It's fine. This way, I wonder why it's taking 30 minutes. Probably because the travoy is super heavy. Hold on. Let's drop that. Still 30 minutes, but that's okay. Man, I need to make a better knife than the stupid sharpened stone. All right, so I think we'll probably be here until the sun comes up. And worst comes worse, I can start a fire here. Now, can we collect sand in the dark? Yes. Not bad. I'm going to drop that. I just feel, I don't know if it's really true, but if he's like working when he's severely encumbered like that, it's probably not good for his health and happiness but i don't really know let's keep going 
Okay. Oh, you're hungry, huh? How does some bananas sound to you there, bud? <laughs> Not good. It's all right. He's fine. He's fine. All right. Let's do that. Keep going. Rain's still coming down a little bit. There's a lot of sand, but that's good. Because remember, now that it rained back at the wetlands, those two mud puddles, well, the dirt puddles, now they're mud puddles again. So we can start making some bricks. Let's see here. Still dark. All right, that means we're still gathering. This travoy is about to get full. Okay, it is now officially full. Well, it's not the end of the world. Can't go back, can't explore right now. I think it will let me harvest stuff though, right? Honestly, I probably shouldn't waste my two last little plants here. We can get more, but we have to explore for them. Mm, that's okay. Here's what we'll do. He's getting a little chilly. Can't hurt, start a fire. Let's see. Yeah, I need to get my hands on some big bones. Why did I just pull that out? What am I doing? Okay. And there we go. We are ready with the leave. There it is. Of course, now it's daytime. <laughs> and I can just leave. Ah. Oh. Well, should we put the fire out? There really wasn't much point in building it. Yeah, let's just extinguish it. We're having fun here, folks. We're doing the do. Let's go back to the jungle. 15 minute walk. I guess with the torch, it's just like harder to see. So it takes them longer. Potentially is why that was a 30 minute walk earlier. Either way, let's go ahead. We're ready to go. Look at this. 100% water. So this water will stay and it won't evaporate. Oh, does that not fit? Oh, it won't go in there? Well, you suck. That's okay. We'll keep it with us. We'll save that little bit. Yeah, we got a whole bunch in the coconuts. So let's take a couple of those. Take those to the wetlands with us. And this guy right here. You're coming too, sir. I'm going to um, probably put this one in the cave. Oh. Oh, snap. Damn it, I left the Travoy back at the bay, didn't I? Oh. Uh. All right, so we're going to drop everything back onto the ground. And we're going back to the freaking bay. All right, let's just do it. Always forgetting something. It's easy. It's easy in this game. Okay, now that's a 30-minute walk. Makes sense. Maybe that's why, because I had the Travoy on me. <laughs> All right, let's grab. So, you're coming along. You're coming along. I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Ooh. We're going to need to rest. Okay, no, we're fine. And where's it at? Mm, that takes an hour. Hold on. Let's drop that. Oh, 12 more. I'm pretty sure the third phase needs 12 as well. Could be wrong about that, but it's a lot of bricks. And we start with one. Okay, I needed the water. Okay. Finally. Let's drink a little bit. And we are hot, but that's okay. We're heading back to the grass. No, to the wetlands. Too heavy to move. God damn it. Um... I can leave some sand here. Well, hold on. Okay. Can you take that? That's too heavy. Too heavy. Okay. We'll just do the Travoy. Just lug this sandy thing over here. Look, we've already got 20 sand, but that's okay. We need tons of it, trust me. So, dump it. Not bad. And like I said, our mud puddles are now 100, well, 99%. I wonder, can we drop the bugs in there? 
Why would you do that? I don't know. So, might as well start digging up some mud and getting to work here. Okay, we got bananas in our pocket, but he's getting sick of them. Let's see, what was at this location? Nothing to eat except the Sago. That's okay, that's okay. And the water is back home, but we're not really thirsty. Let's just make up our bricks. We'll throw those on to the Travoy. Okay, whoop. Hey, new blueprint. Let's go. All right, what do we want to do next? Something important that we need, like, right away. I do have some leather on the way. We don't actually don't have a lot. Oh, food is good. Food is good. Soap is not bad. Clean your body wounds more efficiently. Less water. Oil and fat. So fat, we've gotten, we have seen in the series already how to make oil, coconut oil. It's not that hard. But the fat is a bit tougher. I'm pretty sure we have to kill a boar. One of those pigs we've seen. And as I've mentioned, they can be jerks about being killed. They don't give up the ghost easily. Let's just put it that way. All right, there we go. Hey, I think we're already halfway, more than halfway, because we already slapped one brick onto it. Yeah, that second stage, we're more than halfway through it, so I have confidence we'll get this done in the next day or two for sure. It's still only 9.30 now, but um, I think what we'll do, instead of digging up more mud and continuing the drudgery, let's just head back to the jungle, as we are, because we are starting to get tense again. I think that's from doing the same repetitive stuff again and again and again so we'll drop these now since that's empty that travoy look at this oh yes yeah, seven of twelve yeah since the travoy is empty we should be able to carry our little bit of our water with us now right let's see here damn we are still encumbered as hell it's like even if, no matter how heavy the travoy is or how encum full it is, it still encumbers us the same, which is good and bad, obviously. But, oh, well, we're not in bad shape. We are very hot. I know. I'm going to wash myself with fresh water. And I know I didn't learn my lesson <laughs> after that last time. But I'm hoping we don't experience that kind of devastating drought again. At least until not until the dry season, which is still a long way away. But, man, oh man, guys, time really flies when you're here on the desert island trying to survive. But that's going to do it for our current episode. Don't worry, we're going to have more coming up, though. So stay subscribed. I hope you'll hit that like button if you enjoyed it today. And, of course, I will see you all on the next one. Hey everyone, I just want to give a personal thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their contributions help make my work possible and I am tremendously grateful to them. I'd also like to extend an invitation to you to help support my work on Patreon as well. Your donations allow me to upgrade my PC and avoid the dreaded hardware despair. It also gives me more time to devote to new projects and create longer content such as live streaming. No matter what what you decide. Thank you for visiting my channel.